Well, let's see. Coming out this weekend, there is a uh, man. They have spent a ton of money on on ads for this movie, Elysium, with Matt Damon. Looks pretty violent. Um, I'm guessing it's not too terribly family friendly. But what what are your what's your take on it, brother? Yeah, it has a good heart. I'll start with the positive about the film. Okay. It's really it's set in 2159. Uh, it's the very, very extremely wealthy have built a space station up above the Earth called Elysium, where it's really paradise. And Earth is ravished, devastated. It, it looks like Slumville, you know, every time they depict it, kind of thing. And of course, these people would love to move to Elysium. So it presents a real Christian you know, dynamic, if you will. How do you help um, the, the down and outer? How, how can you, you know, uh, be a blessing to that person? So, like I said, it has a good, good heart. But over 60 F-bomb laters and some, as you've already alluded to from the trailer, the violence, um, there are a few scenes that you just grimace. I do think this film, however, could be edited enough it's going to take some work, but it could be edited enough through a clear play machine that when it comes out on DVD, those that are fortunate to own one of those or go buy one um, could watch this with their teens and, and probably actually have some good things to talk about. The little ones in my home are excited beyond belief about the new animated movie Planes. What did you think? I liked it. I uh, gave it a four and a half or five for family friendliness. Cool. It's not a Pixar film, by the way. It, 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 uh, just a Disney film. But it's in the same world. Um, these, these anthropomorphized uh, trains and, and planes and cars and trucks, they all live in this and they talk and they have their own little, little world. In this one, we, we uh, concentrate on Dusty Crophopper. Uh, <laughs> he's a plane that uh, uh, sprays fertilizer on fields, very low to the ground. We find out he's afraid of heights. He can, he can fly low and do his job, but he longs to be something more. Um, he longs to race in this race around the world with the P-51s and the turbo uh, props and all the elite uh, supercharged planes. Number one, he's not that sleek and not that slick, but the afraid of heights, could he do it? Well, anyways, a lot of good messages here, and the um, missteps are very minor couple toilet gags, nothing that parents can't work through. And uh, now for us adults, we're going to say, I think we've seen this film already before. Um, but for kids, I think they'll enjoy the ride a lot. And, and parents will too. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a, huh, I've seen this film with cars before. I'm pretty yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, even, even um, Dusty Crop Hopper's best friend is a fuel truck, <sighs> looks a lot like Mater, you know, mm. in, in, in the car. So they, 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 they rip themselves off even in this one. So, so there's also a, uh, I don't know hardly anything about this, but I believe, and tell me if I'm wrong, but I believe the new Percy Jackson film, isn't that a sequel? Mm -hmm. Okay, tell yeah. me about that one a little bit. Well, I'll just start by talking Percy Jackson in general. Of course, I've seen both of these. This is called Percy Jackson Sea of Monsters. It's rated PG. Mm -hmm. So by the rating alone, which is the same rating of Planes. Here, I like Planes. Um, gave it a three. But it's got a problem that I need to make sure that our viewers are attuned to before they go see that. And that is that Percy is a demigod. Uh, he is half God and half human. His dad is Poseidon, um, but we live in a pantheon of gods in this world. Now, can families walk through that with their kids and, and, and catch the great messages that are along for the ride? Messages of bravery, bravery and courage and heroism and friendship, then they're all there. You know, that's up to the families to decide, but it has that Harry Potter kind of vibe going for it. There's one other thing I need to point out. There is a quip and then a serious point in this movie that's about, about Jesus that people definitely have to talk through. In talking about water being changed to wine, there's a scene that um, one person uh, um, in this demigod world says, you know, the Christians have a guy that does it in reverse, meaning he can change water into wine. Right. Now, that's a god. Now, not, not, not that he is God, third person of the Trinity, but a God. Right. Um, and it kind of goes so fast and fleeting, I worry about that message. You know, what does that say? That Jesus is a God in the pantheon of Greek mythology? 
apology. I, I, it was a real disappointing uh, line there. So if I'm out this weekend looking to beat the heat and I'm already out and about already, uh, what's a good way for me to find out whether some of the other movies in my theater are safe? What do you guys offer? Yeah, whether it's Despicable Me or Turbo or Monsters University or Man of Steel that might still be in some theaters or whatever, all that information and many, 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 many more um, are available at PluggedIn.com.